Hi, my name is Oktay. Welcome to today's video about the recent trends in the world of uh, sodium ion batteries. This is a nice overview of the different uh, chemistries batteries. In the middle, that's the NMC battery, nickel, manganese, cobalt, lithium battery. This battery is known to have the highest energy density. However, the elements uh, nickel and cobalt are very expensive. At the right, that's the LFP battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this battery is known to be uh, very safe, has a high cycle stability. It's uh, cheaper than the NMC battery. And at the left, that's the sodium ion battery. Uh, that uses sodium instead of uh, lithium. This battery has a cost advantage, however, it has a lower energy density. Uh, there's a way to uh, increase the energy density of the LFP battery by making the LMFP battery. So you can um, replace nickel and co uh, cobalt with uh, manganese, then you can get a better LFP battery. This is one a big advantage of the element sodium compared to lithium. This is the uh, abundance of the chemical elements in Earth's crust. Sodium is here. This uh, y-axis is logarithmic. Lithium is here. Um, sodium is 1,000 times more than 1,000 times more abundant than lithium. And there's a recent trend. Um, you can combine these two chemistries. Uh, you could uh, make a hybrid battery uh, from one third uh, lithium ion batteries and two thirds uh, sodium ion batteries. This is a nice overview of over the uh, sodium ion battery uh, technology. You can see in the middle the additive, the binder, and electrolytes. At the right, that's the anode material, for example, carbonaceous anode materials, or metal oxides, or metal alloys. At the left, that's the cathode, and these are layered oxides um, of different types, or polyanions. And recently, there was an increase in the prices of lithium that made the the uh, sodium ion battery very interesting. But this uh, battery has another um, important advantage, that's the bigger temperature range uh, with good performance compared to the lithium ion battery. This is a um, structure of uh, NES Icon. That's a sodium super ionic conductor. This is a cathode material. Uh, this is one example, sodium zirconium silicate phosphate. Um, the x in, th in this formula is typically between 0 and 3. You can see the structure, these are octahedra and uh, tetrahedra, with common uh, corners. And there's a work of Liliang Wang and colleagues. They made um, um, thermodynamically stable phases with uh, uh, these two sodium vanadium phosphate compounds. Um, this is the Monte Carlo method. In this picture, you can see this method uh, applied to the solution for pi. This is a probabilistic model to find an approximate solution to a numerical problem. And uh, Ziliang Wang and colleagues made a kinetic uh, Monte Carlo simulation. The sodium transport in uh, nesicon electrodes, for example, sodium vanadium phosphate. And they found uh, that the arrangements of the sodium ions and their vacancies together with the oxidation states of the transition metals, are important factors. This is a description of the Jan Teller effect uh, that um, happens with certain electron configurations. They cause a distortion in molecules and ions. And um, the Jan Teller effect uh, happens with odd numbers of electrons in the EG orbital. At the bottom, this is um, with no Jan Teller effect, with an uh, even number of electrons. In the middle, that's uh, elongation. This is the Jantella effect. It uh, causes uh, energy gain. That's why this elongation is uh, preferred. And at the top, there's another situation with uh, compression. Again, the Jantella effect causes, uh, gives you an energy advantage and an energy gain. Uh, there's a work of uh, Jason Huang and colleagues. Um, of the sodium nickel manganese oxide nanoparticle cathode, and they found that the Jan Teller effect can cause distortions or la layer alignments. And 
intermediate phases can cause uh, fractures. Now this is the structure of uh, myricite, that's uh, sodium iron phosphate. It's a mineral that has the same structure as olivine, which is uh, magnesium iron silicate. And there's a work of the scientist Sudipta Biswas and colleagues. And they think uh, this uh, sodium iron phosphate is a promising cathode for uh, sodium iron uh, supercapacitors. Uh, the supercapacitor has uh, advantages over the um, sodium iron battery. This is the big charge discharge. And you can have many uh, charge cycles, uh, discharge cycles um, with the supercapacitor. This is a picture of the solid state electrolyte. Uh, this is a potential improvement over the sodium ion battery. There's a work of uh, Yuf Chuefang Wang and colleagues. Uh, they made a first principles calculation of the stability of various uh, decomposition uh, products. And they showed that uh, phosphides and sulfates are less stable than the sodium side against uh, decomposition. Uh, with sulfates, you have the problem that uh, you can get uh, polysulfides. Uh, these are many different compounds, they have different um, properties, and uh, this is a disadvantage. And this is the structure of sodium cobaltate, NaCO2. And you can see in this picture the uh, layers uh, with different lattice types. Uh, oxide ions are red, uh, blue sodium ions, and cobalt ions in green. Um, these are several uh, lattice types. They depend on the concentration of the sodium. For example, O3 type uh, is the layers ABC, E2 type ABBA, OP3 with ABBCCA. There's a work of uh, Wai Bang Li and colleagues on the outlook for the sodium ion batteries. And they predict uh, graphene and uh, boron nitride as good candidates. And this is another work on the solid state electrolyte. Um, it's about the synthetic control of the structure from Elia Septi and colleagues. And they researched this compound sodium yttrium uh, zirconium chloride. Uh, with uh, ball milling and crunching methods, they made a polymorph structure. And this um, had uh, improved ionic conductivity by activated chlorine rotations in these octahedra of uh, yttrium hexachloride and uh, zirconium hexachloride uh, structures. And this group thinks uh, this is a general principle for halide based electrolytes. Uh, this is the structure of molybdenite. This is uh, molybdenum disulfide, MOS2. This is the ball and stick model. It shows you uh, nicely the layered structure of this compound. Um, this is a picture of molybdenite, MOS2, on quartz. And there's a work of uh, Manish Singh and colleagues. Uh, they investigated uh, molybdenum sulfide, which is soaked by 5% with aluminium on reduced uh, graphite oxide. And the effect of aluminium is uh, that it increases the interlayer distance. This gives you a better sodium intercalation. Intercalation means if the sodium atoms go into the layers. And this, uh, according to the scientists, uh, this compound is a potential anode for the sodium ion battery. This is a picture of kumengite, which is a copper lead chloride hydroxide hexahydrate. Uh, this is called epitaxy. Um, that's the growth of crystals on a crystalline substrate. Substrate is important for the structure of the uh, growing crystals. This paper of S.D. Madsen and colleagues um, is about a molecular beam epitaxy on magnesium aluminum oxide to make a thin film of uh, sodium cobaltate. And this material is um, a poten potential cathode material. And according to the scientists, you don't have to use uh, cobalt. Um, this scientist thinks uh, that other transition metals are also potential candidates for cathode material. This is uh, a picture of graphene. Um, some scientists predicted this is impossible to make. That's uh, one of the allotropes of carbon. It's a single layer carbon allotrope with sp2 hybridization. This was discovered in 2004. It was a big success. Um, 
There's a work of M. S. Litopetsky and colleagues. And they made a density functional calculation of boron doped uh, graphene. Uh, boron has a significantly lower electronegativity compared to carbon. And this group thinks um, that you should um, use boron doped uh, graphene followed by oxidation for optimal um, sodium storage properties. But this is the best material. And this is an interesting picture of the new uh, BYD seagull, which will soon come to Europe. And what's special about this car is uh, the several things that are special. Uh, one, this ha uh, will have a sodium ion battery. And second, uh, this is called by BYD um, cell to pack. That's the structural battery. That's another big advantage because it saves weight. Uh, the price of this uh, car is not clear yet. It could be around uh, 10,000 euros. And for comparison, this would be uh, less than a third of a uh, Renault Zoe. And uh, this uh, gives you an idea about the pace of um, innovation in the f uh, world of electric cars, uh, but also, of course, uh, the world of batteries. And I think uh, this car will be a big success. Uh, that was today's video about the uh, recent developments of the sodium ion battery. If you have uh, suggestions uh, for future videos, uh, feel free to uh, send a comment. Uh, I will add to, uh, the links to these papers uh, in the comment field. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.